Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, thanks for your likes, your comments. Keep your comments coming in because that's how I connect to you all. Um, thanks for your shares, your subscribes. I appreciate every one of you. Um, I thought I'd just jump on quickly and do a reading on no communication. This is my biggest... Um, People want to hear this. I've had a lot of emails for this. No communication. What are their actions, their thoughts towards you? What are they going to do next? So I'm going to get into their energy. Let's see what we got. Let's see where we're at. Hi, Lisa. How are you? MK, Soul Journey, he Heavenly Beauty. Good evening. It's, um, I think it's about nine o'clock at night here. Um, Oh God, Alicia. Hi Mel, morning. Thank you, glad to be back. I was feeling really worn out yesterday, headachey, really headachey. Still got a bit of a headache today, but not as bad as yesterday. So I feel better. Um, I told you, you will see everything, Alyssa. I, I did say that you will find out everything. Hi Saunders, how are you? Asteroid Saunders, thank you. Terry, I love the names you've got in America, you know that, Detroit, Michigan, Illinois, all these names are really nice. Hi Shannon, yeah, I'm feeling better. I slept most of the day today as well, and I'm still tired. Feeling a little bit better, Lisa, thank you, yeah. That's good, you see how we work here. Julian, how are you? Right, let's get in this reading. I know a lot of you are nosy, even though you might not care anymore. Let's, um, hi Pamela, imagination. Oh, do you? <laughs> the, the UK names are boring. Um, the American names are nice. Michigan, Las Vegas. Um, they're really nice yeah let's get nosy we might not care but let's get nosy it's always nice to be nosy even though we don't care anymore let's get nosy thank you Terry right first card that fell out is the fledgling this person is very very um underdeveloped um they live on the underdeveloped under not very um mature side very immature um very immature not they're very undeveloped Let's see what else we got. Okay, this person is very under, un, underdeveloped, under, um, they're not mature, they're not grown up, then they're, they're very, I would say, in a low vibration they're immature they're not they're not very grown up i feel they make people feel invisible they don't make people feel worthy they don't to you to maybe to you this is how you felt you felt invisible around them like you wasn't worth nothing um I think this is how they made you feel. They made you feel invisible, like you wasn't there. You wasn't. And when you confronted them about this, they denied it. They're in denial. They denied it. It's all in your head. You're wrong. You're mad. They denied it. So they made you feel like this. And when you confronted them, denied it now I feel people like this that um, 
that I like this, they won't change for any new person they're with. They won't change for anyone else. Okay, now they deny it, they deny it, they're not. They, they will even swear, I swear to God, it's in your imagination, I'm not like that. It's all you, blame you, blame, I say blame game, put it on you. They will swear on anything. But then they would cause a lot of chaos around you, chaos, drama, destructive energy. This person could also be in that energy, but they're in denial. They're in denial. They're not, they're not understanding what they're doing to people. They're in denial. They're not seeing the chaos they cause. They're not seeing the way they behave. They swear it's not them. It's others. It's never them. It's not their fault. It's everyone else's fault. They're good. It's everyone else. And everyone else causes chaos. But it's not them. Because they're underdeveloped, they're not, um, they're not, um, um, what am I trying to say here? They're not, um, it will come to me, it will come to me, the word I'm looking for. Yes, MK, thank you. No self-aware, yes, no self-aware. Okay, now. You are very grounded. You're very grounded. You used your um, high priestess. You went to your higher self. You done a lot of soul searching. You got your answers. The answers came to you. You knew this is wrong. This is not a good relationship for you to be in. You got the answers. It, as much as it hurt you and it saddened you to know this, you used your higher self. You, you, you got downloads or you got messages or you just knew instinctively because you would try to ground yourself and see your situation what you're in and you saw the beauty in yourself or you started now to see the beauty in yourself you are a beautiful person hi Valerie how you darling you started to see the beauty in yourself you started to, to open up and now you see this in yourself congratulations success success you've got success you made your way out of this. Because I tell you what, this person is always gonna be in denial. This person, person is always gonna cause chaos. But they swear they never do anything wrong. It's not their fault because they're underdeveloped. They, they, they've got no self-aware. And you know what? Some people thrive, thrive on drama. They do. I thrive on peace. Some people thrive on drama gossip, causing trouble, and they love it. You got the strength. You had the strength to walk away. You saw beauty, beauty in yourself. You saw another version of yourself, or you're seeing another version of yourself now. Um, you see nothing but beauty in yourself. You've done a lot of meditation, meditation, and I feel you've, since you've not been around this energy, maybe you still feel a little bit of the energy sometimes, but I feel like your, um, your playfulness, you feel happy, you feel light, you feel more better. This is what you feel for you now. I'm gonna look more deeper in the cards, you know how I do things. We're going to look more deeper. I want to see if they see this in you now as well. 
So I want to see. We'll see. We'll see what energy they're in. But you got a nice um, congratulations here. You've walked away from something that could have been detriment to your future. So, because somebody that causes all this storm and chaos and... Look, it's a tornado. It's a tornado. It's nothing else. What do tornadoes do? They break and destroy everything in their path. Spirit guides, angel guides. Get me into the energy of the divine masculine, please. What energy is he in? energy at this time see unavailable unavailable they're not available that's emotionally they're unavailable unavailably unavailable emotionally you know they're not then then they're not in they're not emotional. They have no emotions. They're unavailable. They're there, but they're not there. You can have them in their body, sitting there, but they're not there. They're, they're an escapism. They run. They run from the first sign of anyone feeling... Or you talk to them, or you try and have... If you've got a problem, or if anyone has a problem with them, they, they try and talk they're an escapism escapism as well they run away or escapism where they go in a world of their own maybe they do drugs drink and they escape in their own mind but so they're not there they're there but they're not there they're unavailable they're um a lot of them are in their own mind not anything else. What other messages, please? Thank you, Kimberly, darling. At the end, wait till the end and I'll, you can ask me a question and I'll pull you a card, all right? Spirit guides, angel guides. What other messages is the divine masculine in? Superficial. They're still superficial. Still very superficial. See? Everything is on top. They will talk the talk. I love you. You're my baby. You're the best thing in the world. They get on their knees. Words are cheap. Remember that. Words are cheap. Action speaks louder than words. Um, yeah, look. Drinking, superficial. Drinking a lot, drunk, drugs. Laying there, superficial, unavailable. They're an embarrassment. I feel like you thought they're an embarrassment in the end. You felt this person is just an embarrassment or they feel like they're an embarrassment to themselves. Maybe they feel they are, their thoughts are, they, they know they're unavailable, they know they're superficial, they know they're drinking, they cause chaos, but they're in denial. Let's see what else. I don't think people can be, keep being in denial because they're going to keep going through painful lessons until they get it. Until they wake up. Spirit guides, angel guides, what other messages, please? This one is twisted and this one is twisted. They project all their, all their um, sadness onto others all their problems, all their victim mentality, 
all their anger, all their whatever, they project it on other people, on everyone else. They're not taking um, responsibility. They just put it on other people. And they're like a volcano erupting. They are, I feel like they've got a lot of anger. A lot of anger. And inside them, they re they're very unhappy. I don't care what you see on the outside. You see them smiling, happy, jolly. Inside their soul, they are in a dark, dark place. Very dark. They're in a, that's why they're in this escapism. That's why they're not in reality because there's so much in that dark, dark. Um, I feel like they carry this heavy, heavy energy and they put it on you. They're draining. Reading these are draining me. So that's what they did to you. They drained, they drained your energy. They drained the life out of you, should I say. They're very superficial. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got void. They're empty. They're just nothing. But they show people they're not. They show people they're okay. And I feel like they're fixated on themselves. They're just so fixated on themselves. Selfish comes to mind. It's very selfish, very for themselves. And they made you feel un unlovable. You felt alone, you felt unlovable, you felt, you know, not worth anything. But remember you are, it's them. It's them, not you. And that they played a lot of manipulation with you mind games manipulated you and they're very um, secretive wearing a mask still wearing a mask <coughs> and I feel this relationship was very one-sided and it made you feel very uncomfortable the way they treated you the way you lived you felt uncomfortable because this one was very very uh, one-sided all about them me 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 You talk to them and it's like you're talking to a brick wall. They're not interested, but it's like they're not with you. Spirit guides, angel guides, what other messages, please? For the divine masculine. Okay, um, if you know your person is with somebody else, they moved in with somebody else, they're living with somebody else, they're just gone with somebody else, they're gonna start having their differences, they're gonna start clashing, they are going to start, they're incompatible, and they're gonna have a lot of conflict in their relationship. So it's not gonna be any better than yours. In fact, it might be worse. They're going to start clashing, differences, conflict. You see, they're at the stage, you know, if they're with anyone else, they're at that stage, you know, where they're idolising them, they're worshipping them, they're making this person feel special. But once they start moving in and getting to know them, they, they start going to start being quiet, drinking, making that person feel uncomfortable, draining them, blaming them, whatever they're going to do to them. They have no boundaries. They have no boundaries. They have no limits. They don't care if you've got boundaries. They will cross them boundaries and they don't care. They have no... They don't know when to draw the line. But we have consequences. They are going to have their karma cause and effect. It's going to repeat. See this circle? The wheel? 
is going to repeat again and again and again and again until they learn. Cause and effect. Karma, consequences, whatever you do is going to come back to you. I feel like they're going to be rejected again, but they're scared of that. But they're going to be rejected. And they're going to feel confused. Why do people keep rejecting me? Why? They're going to be confused. Why? Why? Why does everyone do this to me in the end? I don't do anything wrong. It's them. It's not me. And when, when somebody leaves them, they feel very unsettled because they don't like to be left. They like to leave. It... it Kills them when you reject them. Kills them. Because they like to do the, um, the leaving when they line someone else up. If they don't line anyone else up. See? You see, look. They're elusive. They're dishonest. They're dishonest. They're, tr they're full of trickery. They're full of lies. They're full of... They promise you this dream. They promise you this dream and... Uh, no. Like I said, if they're with anyone, this is going to slowly drift them apart, slowly parting, disconnecting and detaching. That's what they're gonna do when they get in the relationship. Once they're in there and they know they've got that person and that person is in love with them, that's what happens. They start drifting away, slowly parting, disconnecting and detaching. And that is why a lot of people start banging their heads on the wall thinking, what the hell happened? What happened? And you try harder to make it work. They go around damaging broken hearts, destroying people. They shatter people. They've only got feelings for themselves. Spirit guides, what other messages, please? Right, this came upside down. Again, reverse. You know I don't read reversals unless they come out upside down. You're not hoping anymore. You're not waiting anymore. You're not expecting. You're not manifesting them anymore. You're not. You're okay. You're okay now. Sometimes you um, feel them. I feel like sometimes you feel their energy telepathically, intuitively. You got an inner knowing. Maybe you hear a song that reminds you of them, or the song they listen to reminds them of you. But somebody's sitting there thinking, reminiscing, dwelling, um, bittersweet memories. Somebody's thinking back of you. Somebody's thinking back. Somebody's listening to songs and thinking of you. I don't know if you still feel their energy in you. Maybe one minute you're okay. All of a sudden you feel this sadness or this anger or this some sort of um, feeling that you never had five minutes or ten minutes before. You was all right. And then all of a sudden it gets them. It's them, they're reminiscing. They are thinking of you. And the songs remind them of you. Or oh, this could be you. What are the messages?
They're non-committal. They've just got intensity, sexual energy, and they're non-committal. They're, they're just after lust. And until they're fed up or have enough, then they start distancing themselves from that person. They're going to have some sort of upheaval in their life and it's going to be very unexpected. It's going to be shock and it's going to give them a lot of trouble. Something is going to happen to them that is going to cause upheaval in their life. Shock. It's going to be very unexpected. It's going to cause a lot of trouble to them and they're going to have a big shock. Why? Because of this card. Cause and effect. They've got a lot of illusions in their head. A lot of illusions, they're clouded judgment, they're unbalanced. They live in illusions, they're just not, not well, not right. other messages please okay if you're still holding on which I know most of you are not but if you're still holding on to this person you're still wanting this person you need to purge you need to purify your energy you need to heal and you need to clean your energy. You need to clean your energy. Why? Because you're better off. You're better off. You're better off. Your happiness, perspective, clear headspace. You have clear headspace, you're better off without them. And your happiness is your inner peace. And now you can see perspective. You got the sun in the background. You've come out of this dark. The sun is, you know what, you can't stay in a dark place forever. The sun will shine. You've cleansed your energy. You've healed. You've purged. If you've got still more, keep purifying yourself because you are going to get what you want in life. Them, on the other hand, is going to keep repeating. Karma, another one. Karmic lessons. Repeated patterns, deja vu, this is what's going to happen to them. So if you know they're with anyone else and you see them happy, Alyssa, and they're going to buy a cat, Alyssa, they're not going to be happy because it's all fake. And karma and destiny is just going to keep repeating same pattern over and over again they will be rejected again eventually they will be rejected again because that's what people do they reject them once they start seeing you know what you're gonna come into your feminine energy you're standing in your power you're strong you know what you're worth now and I feel this person is going to come back to you and apologize. They want to return. They want to return. They want you to forgive them and they might even buy you gifts or flowers or something. But this person can see now you're in your feminine energy. I think they're thinking back of you, the memories of review and I don't know if they do sit there and they feel, oh, I did that to that person, but I don't care. Maybe, but maybe when things are going wrong in this one, they will start thinking of you. You see, you've had realizations, you've, un you've, you've had awakenings. 
this person is infatuated with people. They, they want people to adore them. Or they show these people they're infatuated with them. They show, they they adore them. This is a, they've got addictions, a compulsion. They're nice. They want you to be addicted to them, to not to leave them. They want you to adore them, uh, you know. And this is what they're gonna keep doing. They want people to adore them. They're the best, you know. You're this, you're that, you're the wonderful, you're lovely, you're everything. They want to be admired. And then when you admire them, they shit on you. You've got a fresh new direction. New direction, fresh start. You've got a chance, you've escaped. And do you know why? You're exhausted. You're, you've had a very long the journey. You feel depleted. You feel fatigue, you feel just tired from this journey you've been on. And twin flame journeys are very, very tiring because one is evolved and one isn't. That's why the other one is working hard to get the other one to wake up. Twin flames are the very most difficult relationships. You have to get the other one to wake up. They have to wake up. Come on, you're doing this wrong. No, no such thing. I'm going to drink, I'm going to be on the 3D level, I'm a human, that's why it's hard for you. They're not woken up. Some of them might be, but the majority of them know this has been a very long, exhausting journey for you, but now this is your new beginning. Um, now this could be you, if they come back to to apologize or to return or forgiveness or something's gonna go wrong. You could be blocking them, trying to escape them or pushing them away. You're going to avoid them. You're avoiding them like the plague. That's some of you. They make dark attachments or they're dark attachments themselves. And they attach, I think they've attached themselves to a dark, a dark person now, a dark energy of the third party. So this person might be more nastier than them. They're making dark attachments. You know, like I said in the beginning, if they're with anyone else, they show they're, they're lovely, they're the best. You know what? Their mask is going to fall off. They're just pretending to get that person. Their mask is going to fall off. They're bluffing their way through somebody's heart and that's going to fall off. Everything is going to fall apart. They're going to be they're falling apart. They're going to start sinking again. They feel misunderstood. They're a victim. They keep making mistakes. But when this falls apart, they're going to be in despair. If things get too heavy for them, they start ghosting, disappearing. Or you could be doing this if they come back. You're going to run, disappear, ghost them. They're gonna have a lot of tension and arguments and stress. They don't like to be tied down. This person does not like to be tied down. They're gonna cause a lot of arguments, stress, turbulence. They're a chaos. They cause chaos wherever they go. Then they, they don't like to be tied down. They're, the, they're scared of commitment because they're free spirited. They like to take risks and they like to see what's out there. The possibilities for them are endless. You, on the other hand, love them unconditionally. You love them un innocent love. You supported them with your whole heart. That's what you did with them. And I feel like this person gave you a lot of silent treatment. 
their emotions were frozen. No, no words, silent treatment, very emotionally frozen. Frozen, no emotion. They have no emotion. And you felt alone all the time. You felt single, even though you was with them. And through your loneliness, you had this overwhelming sense of tears, pain, crying. Even when you were with them, you felt this loneliness, even though, even though, you, were with, even though you were still with them. You've showed loyalty, dedication, you're very trustworthy. I feel like now you've put a distance between yourselves, you've put your barriers up, you've separated from them, you've got your space, you've got your distance and you are in peace and you feel balanced now because you've put that distance. But they're gonna come back. They're gonna start chasing you again. When things go wrong here with that person, they're gonna start the chase again. They're gonna come back. They want to, um, now I don't know if this is you or them, some of you, I'm gonna say this for you first, some of you are still aching for them, you're still pining for them and you still want them. And this is deep down in your soul, you still want them, always still want them. This has affected you so badly. This may, has made you um, very emotional. I feel like you thought this is the one. This is, um, sometimes you feel unstable. Your emotions are everywhere. Now, if it's not you, this is them. If it's not you, this is how they feel. They're, pi they're gonna start pining for you. Um, they're gonna start aching for you. They want their past love back. And this is gonna affect them so dramatically. They're gonna be unstable and they're gonna cause a lot of chaos. Just be careful of this unstable person. When people are unstable, remember they're very dangerous. When you see somebody that can't control their emotions and their that is when you've got to be very careful. Because unstable means they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, you know what, you're, if they try and come back, you're gonna fight them off. You're just not, you're gonna stand your ground. You're not gonna accept them back. That cycle for you has ended, you've closed it, you've got the world, that's the end of the cycle for you. No, you're not doing it. You're waiting for your ships to come in and they're coming in. You see that ship in the background? You're waiting for your ships, or you could be at a distance, emotional distance, or just a distance from your person. If you're a f distant, I'm really getting two messages. You're waiting for your ships to come in, they're gonna come in. If you're waiting for your person, and you're, sorry, if you're at a distance from your person, they're gonna come in very quick. They, they're gonna come in. They're gonna come in quick. They want, they want you to forgive them. You're gonna hear from them. You will hear from them. They're gonna come back. Call you, text you, but hear, for, hear from them. Some of you are not gonna accept this. You've closed the door, you've, you're in your power. You feel better. You're waiting for your ships to come in. 
and they're coming and they're gonna come in quick. You've been working very hard on yourself. You've been very wor working very hard on your happiness, on the love you have for yourself. The love you have for yourself is unbelievable now, how you feel, but, no but, it's not a bad but. You've been working hard on yourself and you're going to achieve what you want. You are going to get your happiness, your total happiness. This is coming in for you. You're going to meet that person that is going to just be the image of you, your soulmate, and you're gonna have a family. If you don't want a family, you're gonna have emotional fulfillment with this person, however old you are, it doesn't matter. You're gonna have emotional fulfillment. Guys, angel guys, what other messages, please? You're gonna have it all. Look, the sun. You can't get better than this. You're going to be happy. Happy. Very, very happy. The sun shines on everything. You're going to be so happy when this all comes in for you. And it is. You lock out the past. This is coming in for you. Your person is going to be very, very, very disappointed, regretful, sad. They are just going to be in that energy. When you move forward, they're going to be sad. I feel like if they're with somebody else, they're not going to be happy for long. They're going to regret losing you. Sadness. Despair. They're very regretful because they keep doing the same thing over and over again. You see, they, they put a lot of illusions around. They've, they, they've got a lot of secrets. They've got a lot of secrets. A lot of things are hidden about them. Even they can say to you, I'm different, I'm going to change, I've transformed, I'm not going to do it again. But to tell you they've transformed, they're keeping secrets, they're lying. Some of them could, I feel like they've hurt a lot of people in their life. I feel like that's what they keep doing. Remember, I read the cards intuitively. The message come to me. I do read the meanings of the cards as well, but my intuition is always on point. And I feel they've hurt and destroyed a lot of people in their lives. Family, friends, lovers, people. They just keep doing it. I feel like they're very unbalanced and whatever they show, whatever they show the world outside, they are just, they're unbalanced, they can't sleep at night, they're not very good at sleeping, they're thinking back and they're carrying a very heavy burden. Yes, darling. Yes, darling. Yes, darling. They're carrying, I can she's talking to me. Carrying a very heavy burden. Very heavy burden. They're thinking of you. They feel disappointed. Um, sad. But they're seeing you happy. Even though you're on your own, you're in the Nine of Pentacles, you're single, you're on your own, you're happy, you're okay. You've got somebody grounded coming in. Somebody coming in. King of Pentacles is coming in. I know she talks to me. <laughs> um, 
even though you're on your own, you're going to meet somebody, somebody that's very grounded, not unstable, not somebody, somebody that he could have his own business as well. And he's going to offer you something. He's going to offer you something. This person you were with made you feel left out in the cold. You felt alone. You felt you lost. You felt alone. You felt lonely, cold, nobody, just empty. But you, you walked away. Even though you walked away, you felt left out in the cold. But you know what? You got the strength. You got the strength. You held yourself back from going back to the person. Even though you wanted to go back and you was thinking to go back because you have the Six of Cups. You was thinking back. You got the strength. You tamed yourself. No, I'm not going to do this. I am not going back. I'm going to be strong. You moved on. Hurt, broken, peaceful, but you went heavy. But you went, and you went with your broken heart. And you nursed yourself back to, back to life, even though it was painful. You did it. And now, my dear, you can do anything you want. You're waiting, you've planted good seeds. You can manifest anything you want, but you are the empress. You are so beautiful and you're going to get everything you want. They will be. If they're not already, they will be. Very disappointed in themselves. What they lost. And now you're using your intuition. You're using your intuition. And you're giving yourself all this love. And you're happy. You're going to have, be happy. And you're going to hold on to your happiness. Right, let's pull one more for you. So what are their thoughts, their feelings, their actions? They're going to miss you. They feel... Um, they're going to come back. They're going to apologise. They want you to forgive them. You've done well. Oh, wow. Come on. Look. You've got a blessing for a peace of mind. Your, your, your mind is at peace now. Your mind is at peace. And you've got a blessing for a fresh start. Beautiful. Two beautiful cards. Peace and a fresh start. And that's what you want. And that's what I've got for you. He's awakened, Terry. Mm, are you sure? He's awakened. I think they've got to go through more pain before they can wake up fully and understand this. But by the time they wake up, you're going to be on your new journey with someone else. Because twin flame, I know you all want twin flame, twin flame. It's hard. It's the hardest thing. One is in that, not understanding this journey, not realizing this journey, and they will always be in that low vibration and you don't want that. Anyway, I wanna pull a card for Kimberly. Let me go back. I'm gonna go back now just to see, where is Kimberly? I've got Melanie and I think Kimberly. Yeah, Kimberly, write your question. Me Melanie, write your question.
Okay. Guys, Angel, guys, please get me into the energy of Kimberly. How will her court go for child support? How will the court go for child support? You've got a battle going on. To and fro, conflict, battle. Um, you have a battle, yes. Arguing, conflict. You're going to stand in your power. You are going to stand strong. Uh, you are going to... You're going to stand... In your power, you're going to stand strong. You're going to be nervous, but you are going to talk your truth or lawyer, whatever. But you are going to talk your truth and you're going to get your child support. The universe is going to offer you this beautiful blessing of money. And you're going to close that cycle with him. And you're going to move on. But you have conflict. And you're going to move on to calmer waters. After speaking your truth. So it's, it's going to go okay. It might knock your foundation a little bit. He might come back and knock your foundation a bit. I think he's very sharp, very cold, very... Um, or this will knock his foundation that you've won. So it can go either way. Either because he's a cold, he's not a, he's not a very loving, caring, he's very cold and with his words, nasty, I think. Now, because you, you're going to win this, it might knock his tower out. He's going to get a tower moment. And that's what I've got for you. Melanie, what is your question? Melanie, write a question. What would you like answering, darling? Oh, shit, what have I done? When you forgive somebody, you don't have to tell them you forgive them. You can just say, I forgive you. You don't have to tell them face to face. You can just say, I forgive you. I forgive you, you let the pain go, you don't feel nothing, you don't feel no anger, no nothing. And you hold nothing in your heart for them. You just understand it was a lesson and that's it. I know it's hard to do. Melanie, you still with me? That's right, Sylvia, yes. Love you too, Kimberly. Is Melanie still here? Or is she gone? I think she's gone, isn't she? Okay. She's gone. She didn't write me a question, did she? Melanie, if you're still here, you can write me a question and I'll quickly give you an answer. Yeah, see, so you don't want your kids to see that either, Mel. You know? <laughs> yeah. 
when, uh, when, I don't know, divine timing, let's see, spirit guides, angel guides, when will Melanie meet her soulmate? All right, Melanie, I feel like you're working hard on yourself. I feel like you're working hard on yourself. You're trying to, yeah, work on yourself. I feel like you're trying to balance yourself out. Still trying to balance yourself out. I think you're still in a lot of pain. You need to heal from this pain. I feel like you've been very, very hurt and you're still trying to balance yourself out, but you are working on yourself. You are, but I don't think you've completely healed the pain. I'm not getting you've completely healed. You are trying. You do sometimes feel, yes, I'm all right. The next time you feel this pain is too much. I feel like you've been through a lot of pain. When? When the wheel starts turning again. In divine timing, it's going to come. Be careful you don't go back to your past, though because the devil just showed up. Give me one more for Melanie, please. One more, when will she meet her soulmate? I feel like you still feel sad about the past. You do, you feel sad still. You feel disappointed, you're not healed. You you might, you're, you're gonna meet two people. When you're done and you're better, you're gonna meet two people. One fire sign, one water sign. But until this comes in, you need to heal because you are still very, very hurt. You got a lot of pain. You got a lot of pain still. So when you've healed, the wheel will start turning again for you. And you know, when the wheel starts turning, that's divine timing. But you will meet somebody, but you're, you're, you feel hurt, betrayed. This betrayal was too much for you. That's what I got for you, Melanie. Yeah, don't go back to your past. Just work on yourself. I I feel I feel with this cause you're still very hurt. Very, very hurt. Maybe your one is just a few months old of betrayal. Maybe six, seven months, maybe less. But your ships will come in. Your ships will come in when you heal. Okay? Right, that's what I've got for you all. Thank you for your donations. I love you all. Um, I send you many blessings on your journey of life. Until we meet again, take care. Keep your messages coming through, your comments, even after it uploads. I love reading them again. Love you too, Alyssa. Um, so, I love all of you, each and every one of you. Sending you many blessings to you all. Stay safe, Valerie. MK, thank you for your sense of humour. It's good. I love you too, USA. So we'll meet again hopefully tomorrow. Take care. Sending you blessings. Bye.